Do you think they'll leave us alone now? At a guess. They'll pretend it never happened. Hmm. Right. Anyone looking? Nobody. Right. Swap back then. It was just like Agnes had told them. They were playing with fire and would need to choose their faces wisely. And so they had. Tartan collar. Really? Tartan is stylish. Sir, Agnes Nutter's last prophecy was on the money. I asked for a rubber duck. I made the Archangel Michael miracle me a towel. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll leave us alone. For a bit. If you ask me, both sides are going to use this as breathing space before the big one. I thought that was the big one. No, for my money, the really big one is all of us against all of them. What? Heaven and hell against humanity. Right. Time to leave the garden. Let me tempt you to a spot of lunch. Temptation accomplished. <laughs> hmm. What about the Ritz? I believe a table for two has just miraculously come free. Ah. None of this would have worked out if you weren't at heart, just a little bit, a good person. And if you weren't, deep down, just enough of a bastard to be worth knowing. Cheers. To the world. To the world. Perhaps the recent exertions had had some fallout in the nature of reality because while they were eating for the first time ever, a nightingale actually did sing in Barclay Square. Nobody heard it over the noise of the traffic, but it was there right enough. That certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad. At the red and the nightingale.